Hi, this is Rich Merritt again with Digital Combustion, and today's tutorial is going to be the installation of Fire Studio 7.0 on a Windows machine. So as you can see here, I've got the file that you'll download off of the website or off of your email or wherever you ended up downloading Fire Studio 7 in the installation file, which is compressed into a zip file, as you can see here. So you can see it's got the uh, ZIP extension on it and I'm actually running Windows 11 on this machine it's very similar to Windows 10 it might look a little bit different but same process one of the biggest mistakes that people make since Windows 10 came out is if you look at the file here we've got our zip file and just like any other file you can double click on it and you can see what's inside that file now you might be tempted right now to go ahead and double click on this setup exe which is what you'd normally do to install it, but this file is still compressed. So if you start doing that, you're going to have all sorts of errors come up and it's going to tell you it can't find things and, and it's not working. So what we need to do is with this file highlighted, we need to go up to the top and find out where it says extract all. And it's going to ask you, and then you can see if you hover over that, it says extract all items in this folder. So we have to extract these files before we can install Fire Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And it's going to ask me where I want to do it. And I'm just going to go ahead and just use the default. It's just going to make another folder with uh, all my files on it. And I'm going to click Extract. And then it'll go through its extraction, depending on how fast your computer is. And then it'll open up that file. So now we can see that we have those same files that we when we looked at it before uh, those same exact we've got the setup exe but now there is no extract over there so we know that we've um, we've actually extracted these and now we can go ahead and run the setup so I'm going to go ahead and double click on the setup exe and it's going to go ahead and sometimes it'll give you this warning Windows protected your PC and it's kind of looks like they only give you one option it says don't run but if you click on more info then you can say run anyway and then it'll go ahead and start this setup wizard so we'll go ahead and step through that you're gonna have to agree to the license agreement and click the next and I always change this to everyone especially if there's other people using these machines you may have to have your IT department um, change some security settings because sometimes they they need to set it up so that everyone can use it on their end and, and going through the security settings. So for now, I'm just going to click everyone and then click the next. And it's going to tell you it's ready to install. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. You're going to maybe get another warning that's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to say yes. And so then it'll start going through its installation. And now it says it's been successfully installed. We can click close to exit and then we're good to go. So now you'll look on your desktop. You should have a icon there that says Fire Studio 7 on it and you can run Fire Studio 7. The next thing you'll have to do is to go ahead and activate the software and we've made a separate video that you can watch that talks you through the activation process. So that's it for installing Fire Studio on a Windows machine. I'm Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and we will see you on the next tutorial.